I'm not saying it's the most beautiful thing, but it becomes a necessity. Mm -hmm. We need to evaluate the safety and the security of the schools. And you know who's good at that? Law enforcement, your SROs. Mm -hmm. They know every avenue of that school. They know every nook and cranny of that school. They know how to get in, how That's to right. get out. Yep. I, I just don't think you can undervalue that. And I think it's, it's crucial right. that we look at every possible thing. Right. Quit politicizing it for yes. five minutes and let's look at the issues. How do we That's make right. them safer? Well, and Jim, you've mentioned we didn't have SROs when we were all in school, but what were the things that we did do when we were in school to be safe? We practiced fire drills and we practiced tornado drills. When was the last time you've heard of a fire in a school? It's been years, years, because it is so ingrained in all of us and we practice it every day and we've instituted all of these fire safety measures in all of our buildings. We've gone all out to make sure the students are safe from fire. We've got to do the same thing with active shooter or these type of, even if it's not a gun, it can be a bomb, it can be a knife, it can be a car, it can be whatever it is. What are we practicing within the schools on a regular basis to make sure everybody's safe? And what things, like you just mentioned, are we doing to evolve our buildings to make sure they're just as safe from these incidences as they are from fire? <music>